All right, well, what is up, everybody? Keith Jameson, go back here, guys, 231 across the DFS industry. Sorry this video is out late. TK Nation did uh, an awesome preview that just won't upload. So um, I'm here to try to steal some of those tidbits and uh, get you guys some coverage for tonight. Um, hope you all did well last night. Um, was happy to see. I, I kind of was contrarian, it looked like. Um, I got a couple of like, DMs and comments like, are you really that high on the Pats? Like everybody's going to be on the Bucks, And just thought the Pats set up really well for the passing attack. Had a lot of Hunter Henry, a lot of Mac Jones, a lot of, um, oh, gee, Jacoby Myers. Not enough born. And then way too much J.J. Taylor, who fumbles on his only touch. So that should have been Brandon Bolton. But otherwise, it was a really profitable night. Hope you all did well. Let's hope to keep it going tonight. So just a quick reminder, like, subscribe, comment, all really helps us continue to grow the channel. And just gives us extra encouragement to keep running this out on every Sunday night, Monday night, and Thursday night. A lot of work goes into these. So let's just jump in. Not going to have time for prize picks. And honestly, we want to try to get out of here in 10 minutes. So I know there's some long, you know, hour, two hour long previews for this stuff. We're going to get you high level overview, some top plays, make sure that you kind of know what's going on, some of the matchups to target, and uh, hopefully print some money. So top starting at the top. If you're going to play cash games in Optimal, which this video is meant for, um, I'll tell you that it's so often um, in GPPs, you can kind of see where all the ownership is going to go on these and you can kind of go zagging. Uh, I think it's tough because both these teams are like really top heavy. And I should say not both. I think the Raiders, the top, the top options are pretty obvious. Darren Waller, Derek Carr, Chargers, top options, Herbert, Williams, Eckler, Keenan Allen. I think that's pretty straightforward. You know, Josh Jacobs is going to be a big thing on the injury news. And let's just kind of hit that. You know, if he plays, I think just you can, in a lot of ways, like he's actually a really interesting play because Brandon Staley is so willing to let teams run. We saw that with CEH. We saw that, um, I'm blanking the game before, but even back to the Rams last year, he would want to shut down the passing game, let teams run on him, shut them down in short yardage. So Josh Jacobs is interesting. I actually prefer him to be out so we can get Peyton Barber and Kenyon Drake at a much cheaper, but those top guys are going to get a lot of the ownership. So I think immediately, if you just want to be different and go GPP on this, you maybe just look for like a, a lower priced, lower owned captain. So, you know, maybe like a Jared Cook. Um, I don't know a lot of people go there or Edwards or Drake or Renfro, like somebody in this range or maybe like a kicker. That could be how to differentiate right away because the top captain choices tonight are going to be this whole group, this top six there. And that's going to be the six highest owned players in the slate too. So, you know, let's just kind of talk about them. I'm, I'm definitely more pro chargers than I am pro Raiders. Um, I think Herbert is a lock in cash. Um, you know, he gives you some rushing upside, has outstanding weapons. And, you know, realistically they're at home. Vegas has been prone to the passing attack. So I like Herbert. Um, Mike, will I, for me, I'm Keenan Allen is greater than Mike Williams because of the price savings. I don't think that those two should be 1400 apart. Mike Williams, more big play shout out Keats. I know Keats is getting way too many shout outs. He'll be back next week. We're going to make him get on here after his quarter of a million dollar win in large part due to Mike Williams, but Mike Williams is more big play, but if you want floor, you want consistency and targets, Keenan Allen is the guy always going to be like their, their target hog. I don't think he should be that much cheaper than Mike Williams. So Keenan Allen, 8,800 to me is a lot. And then I think Austin Eckler at 9,600, you know, it's rare with the running backs that we can just get not only, you know, double digit carries, but can project six, seven, eight targets. And he's getting goal line work now too. We saw that in the week one when he didn't get any targets. So love Austin Eckler. Um, you know, I just think that He's, he's actually a really good captain choice, in my opinion, too, if you want to get off maybe some quarterback ownership, just because he's going to do a little bit of it all. You know, nothing's, like, impressive, right? I, I actually just, like, made a movement to cover the screen. Like, that would work on a video. But, like, you look at the rushing, you go, oh, nothing's impressive there. But you look, 15, 15 targets the last two games, 15 catches, and a touchdown. You know, that's why he's going to be printing 20 fantasy point outings, you know, every game. So, I really like those three. I think Derek Carr is actually a really decent spot to differentiate yourself from the field. I think a lot of people are just going to plug and play him. Obviously, he's, you know, MVP caliber. He's probably been like the biggest surprise at the quarterback position this season. But this is a really difficult matchup. We saw Mahomes and, and Hill even struggle in this. And if Mahomes is going to struggle at Arrowhead, then what is going to happen to Derek Carr? So I think it's a really good spot to maybe differentiate and get off of Derek Carr. 
similar to like last night, it was pretty interesting spot to get up to Tom Brady. These high, highly priced quarterbacks, especially in one game formats, maybe it's harder in cash because they're floor. But they're a really good spot to differentiate because you've really got to hang a crazy, crazy number to kill me, right? Like if a quarterback puts up 20, great. I can probably make it up because if he got up 20, it means probably threw a pe- touchdown pass or two, got to get the receiver it goes to and make it up that way. So I think that Derek Carr for me is the spot that I maybe want to differentiate and I can go the Raiders run game or my favorite play to do it is just not to go Derek Carr, but go Darren Waller. Darren Waller, we know is always going to be the apple of Derek Carr's eyes. 19 targets versus Ravens week one, seven and seven, the last two. Um, If there's a spot that the Chargers passing game is vulnerable, it is two tight ends. We saw Travis Kelsey be the play last week over Tyree Kill. Um, You know, I I just think that that's maybe the way to go from the Raiders is do Darren Waller, especially if Carr only, you know, throws like for 250 or 280 and a touchdown. Doesn't throw like three touchdowns, just a touchdown. He doesn't add much on the running game. I think you can make that up with the pass catchers. And then not only Darren Waller, but we could look at Hunter Renfro, who is way underpriced for his role. Um, What's that? 13. This is always like fun to see how quickly I can do math. 22 targets for, through three weeks, and he's not 8,700. I don't know why it continues to show that. He should probably be 8,700, but instead he's 5,800. Um, you know, on pace for I think it's like 90 or 95 catches. It's crazy. It's a great price. And then I also really like Kenyon Drake if we don't see any uh, Josh Jacobs. Kenyon Drake is getting a lot of the pass game work, which again, Running backs, we love their pass game work. So if he's going to get me like six, seven, eight target or touches and then another five targets. Yeah, sign me up for that. You know, if any of these games, if he gets into the end zone on one of these, you're just in complete Yahtzee territory. So like Kenyon Drake, then I'm just kind of skipping around here. Just this is what you get with me on short notice. But Peyton Barber, obviously we saw him be the workhorse. As a Bucks fan, you know, now seeing Ronald Jones struggle like crazy, it would actually be really nice to see Peyton Barber back. But even Peyton Barber for the Bucks was never something they could rely on in the passing game. He even got five targets because Derek Carr just loves the short dump down. 23 for 111, three of five targets. So especially with, and I guess this is, they're just showing me the captain price as I click on it. This I don't use desktop to build. I know that's like the loser thing to say, but I build on my phone. It's weird, whatever. But uh I, I kind of went over with the matchup, though. The Chargers, the way to get at them is the running game. So if we don't see Josh Jacobs and Peyton Barber is going to be a bell cow, 6,800. That's even a captain-worthy choice because there's going to be points here. This game has over a 50 total. Raiders' offenses look really good. So I really like Peyton Barber. He's going to get the goal line work, too. He's going to get a little passing work as well. That's a great way to save money, a captain, right? Let me just play around, not get off full lineup, make sure we don't go that far. But, you know, go Herbert. I can go Eckler. Waller, can I get Williams? Okay, I can get like Allen in here. I can't get Mike Williams, but I could get Allen in that build. But we need some savings. So let's go slide down the path here. I think I kind of went over everybody in here worth noting. Edwards is fine, 5,000. Just give me Renfro. It's a little safer. But if everybody's going to take Renfro, then Edwards great for GBP. Jared Cook playing a ton of snaps. Jared Cook, we know, is super talented. Tight end, 4,400 is a nice play. Like I said, if you want to contrarian cap. I had a nice little sweat last night with Hunter Henry, Captain. I think it was 1% in the middle. You know, people don't really want to roster tight ends at the captain. And people don't really like to roster cheap options at captain. So I think it makes a lot and it makes it sense. Kickers 100% always in play. We saw Ryan Suckup and Nick Folk. I think we're both on the millionaire making winning team. So kickers can make you money. Raider uh, defense here, probably not where I want to go. If, if I did go one with the fact that, the Chargers are good against the pass. Maybe go to Chargers, hope for a pick six. I think Guyton is interesting um, as, a, as a punt play. I know TK talked him up. Did well first week, five targets, two down to one. So it's a little thin, <clears throat> but, you know, it's 2,400. Everything we're going to do down here is going to get kind of thin. You're just like at this. It wasn't like last night where we had J.J. Taylor or Brandon Bolden. And we go, one of these guys is going to pop off, right? Um it's going to be tough, but Zay Jones, I know TK week one had him, uh, I think in his cash line at two for 46 and a touchdown. Zay Jones always has big playability. Just get me one catch and that will work. That's 1800. Um, I think Frost, Foster Moreau always gets targets, five targets the last two. So that's certainly in play. Again, none of these should feel good. Round trees back up. We could have, 
you know, that's a little right at a thousand. I think he's getting like three, four carries a game, four, one, and eight, right? So it's in play. None of this should feel good. It should not feel good. None of this is going, oh my God, this is going to pop up. Donald Parnum, XFL great. I thought um, when I looked, let me see, Justin Jackson, we know has some talent, got two, t- two carries, got four the week before. You know, we're just looking for two to three points here to make it work. Um, trying to think if there's anybody else. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's not pretty down here. So maybe, you know, a route you could do too, if you like all these things, is go like a kicker captain too. If you get, you know, two, three kicks, a couple extra points and you're off and rolling. So that's how I see it tonight. Um, my building blocks are going to be Austin Eckler, Justin Herbert, and then Darren Waller. Um, from there, you know, I love Keenan Allen, love Mike Williams. And I really want to see the Raiders. If, if, if Josh Jacobs is out, I'm all in on Peyton Barber. I really like him, you know, as a building block in cash. So that'll do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, if you enjoyed these videos, like, subscribe, comment, makes this again, feel good, getting you good, good content out there. And uh, once again, hope this all helps with that. Good luck tonight. And I'll say, see you.